The University of California Merced is the new 10th campus of the University of California system. We're located here in the heart of the Central Valley, which is growing in population, growing in services, and we want to see Merced become a destination for folks, not just a pathway to Yosemite. Historic Places Merced is a community-based research about historic buildings in Merced. It explores the relation from past to present in the community, identities, and places. The starting point of this research was this inventory made in 1985. Uh, it's an inventory of 900 uh, buildings in downtown uh, area. The project is a collaboration with two local groups. First, the Merced County Carthouse Museum, and second, the Downtown Neighbor Association. Historic Places Merced is a website platform, historicplacesmerced.org. The online access to this inventory is the main outcome for the community. Everybody can search and find historical information about buildings uh, downtown. This platform is an implementation of the open source software Arches, that is a database specially developed for cultural heritage data by the Getty. Community members, uh, students, faculty, um, local partners, uh, they can participate in the project uh, via crowdsourcing to update and enrich uh, these data sets. The modularity of Arches uh, is great to add different types of information. We can add uh, architectural data, historical data, but also uh, a big part was the interviews and video and audio files. Uh, the interviews and the crowdsourcing are very important to have uh, um, the experience of the place, the social memory and uh, the relationship from, uh, between people and places. The digital publication of an old dataset can have a high impact and relevance for present-day community. Anyone really that is interested in the local history of this place can participate via crowdsourcing to updating and enriching the 1985 dataset. You just need to create a user account. You could be interested in who built uh, a specific buildings, but you could be interested in who lived there or who participated in such and such events. And the uh, uh, modularity of arches is especially interesting for like the semantic and the way that it links data together. Uh, more social knowledge about history. My project, Merced is City of Arts and Culture, started as an idea my community partners at the Merced County Arts Commission pitched to the research methods seminar I was in. They proposed to explore the feasibility and process of creating an arts and culture district in downtown Merced. My research is on mixed race couples and their residential mobility. I wanted to make sure this project was inclusive and could closely represent our diverse community. We often met with our community partners during the project planning phase, including them in our research plan. The next phase of the project I carried out with three undergraduate research assistants. After teaching and training my assistants about community-engaged research, we began our data collection. We saw the majority of participants support the idea of an arts and culture district in Merced that is diverse and inclusive. When asked what cultural events residents would like to have, festivals came up a lot. Calls for music, including jazz and cultural, also food festivals, and diverse cultural events. The range of art that was suggested was wide, including murals, sculptures, interactive installations, and graffiti. Merced would benefit from an arts and culture district in downtown Merced, and my community partners are able to utilize this data to supplement their application for an arts and culture district designated in Merced and hopefully be formally recognized by the state of California and the California Arts Council. Merced, a city of arts and culture, is now giving us an insight as to what people want to see in their community. The kind of information we can then take to the city, take to the powers that be, and tell them, this is how you get people to interact with your city, then that's, a, that's amazing. That's the point of all of this.